guys, it's Stephanie and I'm going to answer some personal questions you guys left for me today. How do you initiate a first kiss? When I feel like I want to kiss this person and it's an okay moment to do it, I just go for it. And if I don't, I don't. It's like, it's like a sixth sense, kind of, but with kissing. I'm a terrible person to answer this, I'm sorry. What? Eyeliner do I use? It's like the forever something eyeliner from Sephora I would show you, but it's like it's dying. I've that much left. Not a happy camper. It's amazing. It's waterproof. I love it. Do I like Justin Bieber? Yes. Do I like Glee? No. Nah. This one isn't so much a question. I'm being emotionally abused by my girlfriend. That's not okay. A lot of people sometimes disregard emotional abuse as abuse because a lot of people have imprinted in their minds that abuse is something that physically happens, like someone makes physical contact with you in a negative way, such as being sexually assaulted, hit, raped. Emotional abuse can really, really kill as well. Sometimes it can be far worse than physical abuse. I would talk to your partner about it. Maybe they aren't aware that they're doing it. And if you address it and nip it in the butt, maybe you can find a way to put an end to it. Maybe they have some issues that they have to work out themselves. There's counseling. If they persist in doing it once you already address the issue to them and they don't even try to make an effort to stop, I would put an end to the relationship. You don't continue to do that to someone that you genuinely care about. What do you do when you're in love with your best friend but they have a girlfriend who they are head over heels about? Stop. Just stop it right there. Do not go any further. You obviously have feelings for this girl and you really want to be with her and I'm sure she's really really awesome. I'm sure you're really really awesome but if she has a girlfriend there's literally nothing you can do about it. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be, but if she's with someone right now, you don't want to try and interfere with that. It would make the situation very uncomfortable because this is your best friend and she is already with someone. So on top of the whole telling your best friend you have feelings thing and making you risky with the friendship, you also have on top of that that they have a girlfriend and by doing that they may feel a little disrespected about their relationship if you try to go for them when they're clearly taken. Just appreciate the friendship you have. Have you ever thought about having kids? I think you would make an awesome mom. Thank you! I would very much so like to have kids. Not anytime soon since I'm in college and relatively young. But I'm older and settled down and have my big girl job and everything is good and dandy. I would love to have children. They will be the best dressed children in all the land with really cool hair. How many dates should you go on with a person before you know you work well together? The only way you're really going to know is if you communicate with the other person. I know it's a really, really awkward topic to have. They might be thinking that you aren't interested in pursuing anything more than a couple dates with them if you don't bring it up, or they are not looking forward to going further just yet. It's something you really have to discuss with them to distinguish whether you should or should not become an official couple, and yeah. Did you fall for your girlfriend on the first date or did it take time? I don't fall for anyone on a first date. It's wild for me to fall for someone. I thought she was cool. It takes a while for me to get emotional attachments to someone. Like everyone knows I don't use the term friend loosely. I don't apparently fall for people on first dates. Those are some cool questions that you guys left me. Check out next week's video. Since Valentine's Day is coming up, we're going to be talking about consent. So that's going to be pretty groovy. All the links for my Tumblr, my Twitter, my YouTube, my Facebook, my email, my merch store. <sighs> All that good stuff will be in the description right down here. Also, if you guys have any suggestions or wants for a video for me to make on my personal channel, I Live with Steph, then leave that in the comments too because I'm, I'm definitely going to do that soon. And yeah, have a super awesome, wonderful, amazing week. Bye guys.